Well, this should be an interesting with soul video. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Have another What's Sold video for you this week. These items sold from Monday of last week up until Sunday of this week. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Hit that subscribe button down below. Also, hit the bell notification. If you're if this is your second time, third time back, welcome back. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. Really appreciate it, and it helps the channel out a lot. I don't want to keep you guys any longer. Let's get into these sales and see how we did. Okay, we are going to Bridgetown to get some socks. Let's see. Oh, it's one of these ones. It's the size medium. Uh, pair of Thieves socks. They're for dad and kids. 20 socks. Uh, we sold one of these for $3.54. We really didn't make much on these because we got these on clearance at Target. And they just did not sell well. But you win some, you lose some. But we didn't lose money, which is a good thing. Next up, Disney World. This is for a swim cap. Let me put this box back real quick. Right here, this is a Speedo cap. Uh, we got this in the Amazon bin store for $2.50, and we sold it for $12.99. Really good on this one, and I'll put a link above to the video that went up last week from the bin store. And then we're heading to the Baden bin, which is right here, and I think the item is down here. It is like a Walkman radio that we've had for a while. This is a Magnavox Pocket Radio. It's the Magnavox AE 1595 Pocket Radio AM FM Tuner. Really cool. It is tested and works. Uh, we sold it for $8.50 plus shipping. So it's heading out. Yeah, really neat little item here. Uh, I don't remember where we found it at, but yeah, the battery department was really clean on this one. You can see right there, it's definitely clean. Yeah, we tested and worked. We put some batteries in it and kept it and tried. Well, we didn't keep it. We tried it out and it worked and I'm glad it's going to a new home hopefully somebody can put this to good use okay next is some wheat eater string uh it's a wheat eater replacement no it's just here it should be right in front because i grabbed it before it was right here in front of me weed eater replacement spool we ended up getting 9.99 plus shipping for this local hardware store clearance pickup okay going out next is this 1956 Auto repair manual right here. I think we have about a dollar into this, maybe even less, maybe a quarter, 50 cents. Picked this up at a, a yard sale last year that was close to the house. Uh, ended up getting $6.99 plus shipping for this. Now this book weighs almost a little over four and a half pounds. So it's definitely gonna go media mail. Uh, super cool book. Uh, covers all 1946 through 1956 models. So there's all the models that it covers. This did not last long, we listed it, it probably was up for maybe about a week and then it sold, so happy to see this one go. Okay, so the next item going out is this Jason Kendall Tops Archives 2021, 2022, I think, I don't know, this one just came out, but this is the Pittsburgh Pirate, this is the fan favorite auto of Jason Kendall. Uh, we pulled this in our box, actually a huge fan of Jason growing up, uh, we ended up getting $4.50 for this, and I'm going to put the clip up or picture up on the screen of when I think his career just went right downhill. Uh, he actually broke his ankle running the first base. He hit the base and actually snapped his ankle. I think ever since then, his career was never the same. So I think that's what ended his career early. Okay, we are going to get two computer games on the sand bridge. Oh, here it is right here. Oh, it's over there real quick. Let's see. This is never, this bin is never easy because of this clock. We had these for a while, because that is our old business card. But this is two crime scene uh, CSI computer games. That's our old business card with our old logo right there. Pretty cool to see. We're going to be getting $2.54 plus ship. Probably only made about a dollar on it. Yeah, that's both games right here. It's the dark mode of CSI game and the crime scene investigation game. So pretty cool for the PC. Three discs here. I think this is probably three discs too, or maybe two. But yeah, really neat games. I, I really think we might have got these at the bins. Next, we're head, heading to the Baden bin. We are going to get some food coloring. I think I see it right here, though. 
they have the food coloring right here. Vintage food coloring. This is blue, orange, and rose pink right here. It's a shilling. We picked these up at a yard sale in a bundled deal with some older food colorings and some other cooking items. We ended up getting a total of $4.99 for the lot of three of them. Never, uh, always look when you're going to an estate sale or something like that in a house and they have some older stuff like this. Some of this stuff is very collectible. Okay, next we are heading to the Magic Kingdom bin. I gotta watch out. I've been trying to take some pictures on here. Got the lights set up. Somewhere. Eh, blends, blends in. Whoop. Blends in right there. But I was trying to do some light, some pictures with some different lighting right here. But the Magic Kingdom bin, we are grabbing this. It's a welcome NASCAR race fans. Premium 3x5 flag. Still with the original price tag on it, too. Kind of older. I didn't see a date on it, actually. Yeah, no date, but brand new in the package. We end up getting $9.99 plus shipping for this. We have about a buck into it, so really nice, uh, really easy thing here. And I think the person wants priority mail shipping, so this is going to go in a flat rate envelope. I'm also watching Paul Flipping Sports Guy here. Go give him a follow on whatnot. Uh, I have a video coming out, which I don't think it's out already, but to show you some winnings that I got from him, but Paul's doing a sports card auction right now. And, you know, if you watch this channel, I like sports cards. So, listening, watching him while I'm working, and just packing this up at lunch. So, next up is these two almond colored Tupperware trays right here. Uh, there's two of them. We have a, a stack of these. We've got these at the huge estate sale that was not huge. Uh, they're almost practically brand new. Uh, the two trays here, the two compartments here, the big compartment, then like your compartment for silverware. These are really good. You have a camper, a camp site. Uh, somewhere like just something like that to where these are really nice my kids do enjoy these um, but we just have too many of them so we are trying to sell some of them four dollars and 24 cents each and these will go priority mail because two of these together are a little bit over a pound okay next stop is this is the item it's in the Gettysburg bin this is an item that we've had for a while and I'm so happy that we finally sold one of these it is this GOT Sports UPF 50 Plus Gator. Uh, Multi-use, tons of different things that you can do here. We got a whole whopping $1.22 for this thing. Uh, but what makes this sale so much better was this is something that we got in the, one of our Amazon mystery boxes that we purchased on Facebook. There was a total of 18 of these in that box. And I thought at the time we got this was kind of in the middle of COVID. I thought, man, these things are going to sell like hotcakes. Because honestly, they are kind of cool because you can use them for like sun guard or to protect some sun off your neck. Uh, just different things like that. Even you can even use them for a scrunchie if you have hair, which I don't have hair, so I can't use it as a scrunchie. I just thought these things were going to sell like crazy. And they didn't so i noticed that somebody must have been watching one or had it in their cart and i sent out an offer of a dollar 22. so it was about eight cents less than what i finally lowered these things down to but we have 17 more of these so hopefully they start to move now even though the mask mandates a lot of them have been lifted but like i said they have a bunch of different multi-use here so happy to see this one go finally okay i go months without selling one of these and then Bam! I sell two within a minute of each other. Boyd's Bears. This is the... I forget what it's called. Uh, Busby Be Happy. We sold two of these. I think we have four total. But we picked these up while we were out in Gettysburg. And... Yeah, we got them for like a dollar each or something. It was really cheap. But we ended up taking an offer of four seventy five on one of them. And then the same buyer bought another one for five ninety nine. So I'm going to combine these into two and maybe and hopefully refund some shipping i can't remember how heavy these things are it, it might it, it might be pushing priority mail so they might not get any money back from shipping so we'll see we'll see how that one goes well hopefully you guys enjoyed that what's sold video it was not as good as i was hoping uh saturday and sunday of the week of the end of the week out we had zero sales we had one sale friday night that we're going to ship on Monday. So for some reason, this weekend was probably our worst weekend in a long time. But it's going to happen sometimes. We listed items. We ended items. We listed. We did everything that we should have done. But it was just sl slow. 
Not sure if the weather had something to do with it where it was nicer in some areas, people got out, and people just were not buying things. Hopefully your sales were better than ours. But again, this is just a hobby for us, so it's it stinks not having sales, but guess what? Maybe today will be better, maybe tomorrow will be better, and that's all that matters. We'll still sell the stuff, it's just taking some time. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Remember to smash that thumbs up, hit that bell notification, and if you're not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button down below. Until next time, guys, remember to stay safe, stay healthy, and keep picking. Bye.